Welcome to the Brian Murray Show, a real estate show, New Jersey style. Today's discussion point is seasonality. Seasonality here in the wintertime um, or cyclicality is what's going to be happening in the Hoboken and Jersey City markets uh, for the next six months. Seasonality. We're coming into spring. Um, so if you look at the charts that are attached here, um, you can see that we start low in January typically with contracts uh, and then it slowly builds through February and then we start to kick into high gear um, in March, April, May, and June tend to be the highest months uh, on average for contracts for sale. So our seasonality, even though it can be, uh, it can be low in the winter, it really will kick up in the spring. And that's a, a function primarily of two things. One is that uh, the wintertime people hunker down a little bit. And so maybe some people don't put their homes on the market, especially the ones with yards or outdoor spaces where they can't really show them off in the winter like they can in the spring. And then uh, secondly, you have a lot of folks who are moving to the suburbs in the uh, spring, summertime. So, they're putting their homes on the market in the, uh, in the springtime, 60 to 90 days before they really want to move, even 120 days before they really want to move so that they can have a, a, a sale and then they can move on and move out to the suburbs or upgrade even in that, that circumstance. But that really causes seasonality or cyclicality. Um, it's driven by, again, those two factors, one, Homes show better, two, people are moving to the burbs, and even as a bonus, three, the weather's nicer, it's easier to show a home, it's easier for a buyer to come out and look at a home. That's today's discussion point. Today's hot topic is the market, the February, January market, the winter market, the market right now. Here we are at the very beginning of February, and the market has several indicators that uh, are saying that it's on fire. And we need to know about what that is so that we can make really good, smart decisions going forward. So just to give you some numbers, in Hoboken, for example, there's only 124 active condos. The big number is that in January, there were 70 condos that went under contract. So if you're doing months of inventory, you would take the number of actives divided by the number of under contracts, not, not solds, but under contracts because solds tend to be a 60 to 90 day lag time, but under contracts is really what's happening right now. So actives uh, under contracts divided by actives, and that would give you just about a month and a half, uh, a little less than two months of uh, inventory. Now that one and a half to two months of inventory, that's what Hoboken was experiencing for the five years when it was really booming from about 2012 to 2017, where you saw price increases of 10% year over year. Um, right now, we're not necessarily seeing the price increase, that is a 10% price increase or that, that push, but know that last year, for instance, we had 50 condos under contract in January. In the fat past five years, we haven't come close to 70 contracts under, uh, 70 condos under contract in January. So the market is on fire in that sense. Jersey City is 135 active. If you take out some of the new construction, maybe about 120, and they have 43 condos under contract in downtown. So they're running about three months of, uh, uh, of inventory, which is still super strong. The one caveat to these two pieces of information that's holding back the prices a little bit is that, for instance, in Hoboken, it's a 60-day average uh, time on the market for those that are going under contract and a, a little less around 48 days in uh, Jersey City. So they're not flying off. Like when we saw the 10% increases, we were seeing um, days on market at 14 to 21 days on average for a long period of time. So they would come on, go off very quickly. Now they're coming on, they're staying a little longer, 
but they are selling. And now in January, they're selling a lot faster than they were. So those are uh, some indications that you might start to see some prices go up. I've been reading some uh, analysis on some people I respect in the New York market, and they're seeing the same thing there. And we do have that trickle down effect here. So if New York's hot, we're hot. The, uh, the, two, the two pieces of information that you might want to look at here is in my report, you'll notice that there are dips in, Jan in February. So we'll see if we do get a little bit of a dip in February from January, almost like a hockey stick effect. Uh, and then the other thing is that there's an extra day this month, uh, uh, this month in February. It's leap year. Uh, as an aside, I don't understand why we put the extra day in February. We've already been smart enough to make February super short. It's 28 days. It's not even close to the next one. It's 30 days. So we should really think about redoing this whole leap year concept and maybe making June 31st. Because I personally know that I would much rather have an extra day in June where it's warm and it's light out late than an extra day in February for more snow. This has been the Hot Topic. The good, the bad, the ugly. The good, winter is a third over. We might only have 60 days left to winter. Not technical winter, meaning March 21st, but New Jersey winter, meaning when it's nice enough to put a coat on, a spring coat, and go outside. So the good, we are a third done with winter, and we're also a third done, we're mostly done with the winter market. We're about halfway done with the winter market, maybe two thirds, depending on what happens at the end of March. The bad, football season is over. You know, from September to February, there's something to do on the weekend. It builds community, whether it's college or it's pro, it's a community building uh, event. Whether you watch it at home, you watch it in a bar, you go to a game, people talk about it around the water cooler, people are focused on it. It's over until next year. So that we kind of lose a little bit of something there. Even if you're not a fan, you do lose a little bit of something. And then the ugly. During the winter months, it's colder. And I want to talk a little bit about um, city government and that, you know, there are a lot of hot topics in uh, city government. And there's a lot of important um, issues that they deal with on a weekly and monthly basis. And unfortunately, during the winter time, uh, community involvement is lower. You know, the, the hardcore people will always go to the meetings, but those who are a little more casual, they're not braving the cold as much to get their voices and their opinions heard. So it's a little bit unfortunate. My recommendation on that is uh, reach out to your council people, to the mayor's office, and let them know what you're thinking if you can't get to the meetings. This has been the good, the bad, and the ugly. Today's inspiration. Nature gives to every time and season some beauties of its own. Charles Dickens. There really are some beautiful things to this season, so enjoy them. Uh, thank you for watching this episode of The Brian Murray Show. Uh, if there was anything here that you liked, I welcome you to share and like me on social media, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and watch all previous episodes on the murraypropertygroup.com. Um, I welcome your feedback, and if there's anything that you disagree with, please reach out to me and I'll show you why you're wrong.